Hey, it's Curtis YZ. Smash like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I'll read it. I mean it. Go and share if you care. Just putting it out there. Welcome to the show where I talk about movies and do music and more. Let's get to it. It's Curtis YZ here. What was the purpose of my last video? Mostly I just wanted to explain how it can be different perspectives based off of how you grew up with something. In my case, since I grew up with both of the prequel era and the original trilogy, I liked them both pretty evenly. I liked the original more because I, I watched it a lot more in the process. I just wanted to explain that the younger you are when you watch these things is going to have a larger impact on how you view it. And since I grew up with a lot of good Star Wars, it's frustrating to see such good products go down, perspectively speaking, in the toilet. From my perspective, it looks like it's just going downhill. And none of the legacy stuff should have been scrapped. They should have only built upon... The way that I perceive how Star Wars should have been handled is it should have been handled like Marvel. They should have adapted to the most popular, not just popular, but the uh, most recognized as being the best stories, things like that, and built around that. It should have been looked at as the same as comics. You know, that's all it is, is there's so much outside influence that was heavily valued to everybody that was invested because that's all they had. There wasn't a lot of entertainment being released for a long time for my generation <laughs> the 90s kids that's when it started to boom you know that when i was nine and the phantom menace that's when it revitalized for me and that's when i went back and started watching all the originals again and upon going back that's when you realize oh i'm older i didn't know all this stuff i didn't realize how much i was missing out as a kid you know you don't know because you don't understand those things as a kid. And then when you finally come back to it, and you're like, for me, when I finally did, because I remembered remembering it, right? I thought I knew. And you go back and you watch it, it's like, well, there's a lot I didn't pick up on. Like, I've grown up. And that's kind of, I think that's also why, for at least for me, in a lot of these movies, uh, uh, like Blade Runner, uh, that was another one, too. I remember getting that as a kid because uh, my... <laughs> My interest in Star Wars is so high, I, I, I remember seeing it in a Big Lots, in a, you know, the basket full of DVDs, and I, I saw Blade Runner, and I was like, Harrison Ford, that's Han Solo, he's got a cool gun, he's got, oh, a flying car, there's a flying car on that cover. You watch it as a kid, and you're like, okay, there's a couple action scenes, you're pretty bored as a kid, obviously. You go back to it a couple years later, because you remember it had action, maybe, maybe I just wasn't you know, old enough to be able to really understand what was happening. You go back and watch it. Blade Runner is a little bit more tricky because even when you're like 13, you watch it and you're like, yeah, this is bad. <laughs> but for me, I, I did take as much good of it as I could. And all I took out of that, the second viewing was, it's really real. Like, I'm not talking about the aesthetic. I'm talking about the action. The action felt real. Like, none of it felt Hollywood. And it felt real. It felt like it was actually happening. Like, this is a real city. And that's what I was picking up on. And, and I, as little action as there was, I was like, actually, that's kind of cool. I've never seen a movie that has that much action. And all the action in it feels really real. It doesn't feel like it's over the top in any way. And uh, it's the same thing with Star Wars. It's the same thing with all movies that you grow up to love. And each time you go back to it, you pick up on new things because you see life in new ways and you've grown and um well and then even if you're older and you watch it you see so many iconic things that you grew up watching and uh and a new take on it who can't like a lightsaber i mean you no know, i think that's one of the greatest things about star wars actually is that it's the lightsaber is only functional in the world because of the force the force without the force the lightsaber is completely obsolete really like if they if the user doesn't have the ability to have the force you can't have a lightsaber and have it make sense really because yeah you have no power <laughs> You, you can't you can't deflect bolts how I mean they're I mean maybe if you're really good I guess but that's kind of what makes it so cool is that the force is such a powerful entity if you will that it allows something as old as a sword to become prevalent again and even give it a cool futuristic look to it and spin to it 
it's actually such an advanced idea in reality that we know how hard it is now we can make something like that but it's it's incredibly hard to make a, a, a laser stop because <laughs> light wants to just keep going right how do you make there's a lot of complicated issues right but um it's just a fascinating topic all around. That's what's so interesting about sci-fi is that it, it makes you think about the future. It makes you think where where's technology in the future going. Will will Star Wars ever not be relevant? Will will there ever be a time where we surpass Star Wars technology? Uh, it could happen, I guess, but it'd be a long long time I think before that ever happened and uh and that's I think kind of what makes Star Wars also so interesting is it, it is the pinnacle of technology. It, it's it really is talking about the the most advanced that human beings could ever possibly. Because cons- you're watching gods, really. You know, you're talking about people that have magical powers that can do anything. And when you talk about legends and everything, and the the ability, when, when Darth Vader says that it's insignificant next to the power of the Force. He's talking about, like, you can almost do anything provided you let the Force do it through you or whatever. It's it's almost implied that that's possible, right? When we're talking about Star Wars, we're actually really talking about godlike figures. The characters are so powerful, but they also feel so human still. And, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to talk. I didn't feel like I was very clear about um, my... I just was trying to, I just want to give my perspective on it. Maybe even make you remember how you um, were raised with Star Wars. What was it? And and that's kind of what's so fun about Star Wars is that we each have our own little parts. We have our own things that we latch on to and gravitate towards. Everybody's got their own, obviously, perspective. That's one of the things we learn from Star Wars. But just be thankful that we have the fandom, that we're all here now, and that we're all sharing our ideas, and that we're all trying to get along and see. We're all trying to see how um, how we all view things, and we're open our, opening our minds, trying to live as peacefully and as happily as we can. Help me, the fandom menace. You're my only hope. I need subscribers so that I can feel important. I don't feel important enough. The numbers that I'm seeing are too low. The rookie numbers. No, I'm joking. I'm really appreciative of all my subscribers. Thank you very much. And uh, I always appreciate your uh, support and your help. I really just want to share, you know, what what I've got to say. And sometimes on comments and we don't feel like we're not getting our messages out there. And that's why I do these videos. I like to watch a lot of videos and see where other people are at and uh, get other perspectives and that's why I do what I do so that people can watch and see what I think and maybe I bring something that they didn't see. I'm also here because I want to share other experiences and movies and things that I've enjoyed and be able to pass that on to you. Maybe you'll check it out. I just want people to all be happy and get along and hopefully we can all find common ground in some of the good things that we all like. So uh, that's my mission. I just want to show things that I think are really good. Talk about it. See what you think about it. That's just what makes me tick. I just like I like to explore where people find interest, what what's working for people, what didn't work. What I like about movies is that we there is a there is a line where between no some people like this and no some people like this, and that's where I find it interesting. Where where's the happy medium? Where's what? What's the right way to do gritty? What's the right way to do colorful? You know, things like that. I'm just fascinated by art. Creative person. I like watching creative things. Anyways, thank you uh, to everybody. And uh, till next time, remember, you could do anything in the world and everything in the world is possible. Yeah! Hey, it's Crypto Smash like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'll read it. I mean it. Go share.